Hey my friends, this is Loli. Welcome to Loli Dee's Creations. Today is day five of the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration and we will be doing some Christmas signs. Let's start with the first inspiration. I will be using this gorgeous glitter picture frame that I found at Dollar Tree. I removed the packaging and I'm going to remove the back as well. Just be very careful. These seem to be constructed pretty well, but a lot of them, the little pieces break off as you try to open them. I will be leaving the glass in as well as the cardboard framing. And I'm going to use one of these cards that come in a variety pack from Dollar Tree. The prints are stunning, guys. If you see them, go ahead and get them. I'm going to pick this vintage Santa to put in my frame. I am making sure that it's nice and centered and I don't have any spaces in the top or bottom. And I'm going to take some masking tape and tape this card down. I'm going to tape all four sides because this card is the perfect size for this opening. I don't want my card dropping and having any space in between. So I'm just making sure that it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to just go ahead and replace my backing. I am adding that paper in just to make sure that I have a little bit more pressure and, and repositioning my backing and carefully putting those little tabs down because as I said before, they do tend to break off sometimes. And here is my pretty sign. I love it. I don't think I'm using anything extra. You can always add some more details if you like. I wanted to leave it this simple and gorgeous. More of it in the final reveal. My friends, as I mentioned before, today is day five, the 12 days of Christmas opening by collaboration, hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Amanda from Molly Cole Creations. The links to their channels and to their playlists will be linked in the description box below and also pinned in the comments. Make sure to head on over to their channels and to their playlists and show everyone some love. For our next inspiration, we will also be using one of these art frames from Dollar Tree and removing the plastic off. And we are going to also remove this cardboard piece that comes in the front. I'm just making sure to be very careful because I do love that print that's behind. So I do not want to damage that. So I just kept prying it up, not sideways, just making sure to pry it up. So if there's any tearing, it's only in that one section that doesn't affect the rest of the sign. So here I had a little bit of glue still left over. I just used my heat, my heat gun <laughs> to heat that hot glue up. So I was able to scrape it right off my sign just like butter. And if you still have some residue left, you can go ahead and just heat it up with your heat gun one more time and then scrape it off like butter. Then I took this uh, paper pack or craft book paper, scrapbook paper from Michael's. I got this on clearance and I'm going to pick this scrapbook paper right here. And in order to cut out the right amount that I need, I'm using that piece that I took off the sign to be able to know exactly how much I need to cover up that word and that's on there right now. Once I have it all traced out, I'm going to cut exactly on top of the line so it doesn't show on my paper. Then I'm going to use some of just a white glue from Dollar Tree and I'm going to apply it to the piece right there where the sign was to begin with, that cardboard that I removed. And I'm going to make a nice thick layer. I like to use this instead because once you place your paper down it's very forgivable you're able to slide it around until you're able to have it nice and centered so here i'm positioning it and of course i didn't have it centered properly and of course i was able to slide it over because it's still not dry and now i'm going to take one of these greeting cards or gift card cards from dollar tree the print is stunning i love this piece guys so I'm just going to cut that piece off where the chalk is and I'm going to trim it down to fit inside the piece of paper that I just added to this frame. It was a little bit too big there so I came back in and trimmed it a little bit. I'm always very cautious in trimming it. I always rather trim it too little than too much and then I have to start over. Once again, I'm going to be using the same glue to attach this to that piece. Friends, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And I hope that you will consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure that you hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you each time that I upload a new video. 
All these things are free and they mean the world to me. And to my current subscribers, guys, thank you so much for all you do. Those comments, keep them coming. They are so encouraging. I am so grateful for each one of you. Thank you so much. I love you dearly. All right, guys, so here I was like, it looks cute, but you know what? I'm not liking, I was thinking, so I'm like, you know what? Let's paint the frame. I like the frame how it was, but it just wasn't, you know, popping as much as I wanted. So I added some paint to it. I'm gonna take some of this white paint from Apple Barrel and I'm going to do a dry brush. I do like that gray peeking through, so I'm going to go ahead and paint it solid, but I'm just going to brighten this up so the back end and the truck will pop a lot more. Friends, I know that we are doing videos for Christmas right now, but we are still in the Thanksgiving season. The upcoming Thanksgiving holiday is coming up, and I'm just curious of what you guys are thankful for. I think this year we have so much to be thankful for, our health, our family, our friends. What are you thankful for today? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, so I just popped it right back into the frame, and this is how it turned out. Let me know what you think. For our next installation, we are using another of the signs or frames from Dollar Tree. We're going to go ahead and pop the backing off of this one. And I'm going to put the cardboard to the side. We are keeping the glass on. So I'm going to use one of these bags from Dollar Tree, guys. The bags and the cards for Dollar Tree, they are so pretty this year. It is just perfect to make these beautiful, easy signs that cost you less than $2. Well, not less than $2. It costs you $2.50 and you get a lot for your buck. As you see here, I'm just using the paper that they had inside the frame as a guide to know exactly how much I need to cut out, but I'm keeping in mind that the frame itself will have some space in the top and bottom where the frame is at, so I'm trying to account for that. So I'm cutting the sides as that is as fine, but the top and the bottom, those I'm not so sure about. So here I was like oh then I'm like no it doesn't seem right so I'm coming back measuring against the actual frame to see where the picture is going to actually you know land on when I put it in the frame and if I cut it there it would have been too short and I would have been the glass the letters at the top would have had barely any space so here I'm going a little bit higher up and I'm going to now trim that piece off I am cutting above the little holes because those holes will be covered by the frame. My dad used to tell me all the time, measure twice, cut once. So here I'm measuring one more time before I cut anymore. So I'm checking to make sure how everything lands. And I'm trimming a little bit off the top because I was able to see the little holes. So I'm trimming a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom to make sure that this is nicely centered. I went over and cut that off, and look at this. Perfect. I love it. All right, guys. Here's the final reveal. Let me know what you think of these pieces. I love them all. I didn't even put any embellishment on there because I just feel like the picture says it all, and that's all you need. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. I just want to say thank you to these talented ladies for having me in your collaboration. This has been so much fun and we'll see you tomorrow with Stock and Team Decor. We'll see you there. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. 
you're amazing bye